Manfred Olsen was a professor here in physics and he felt strongly that there should be a planetarium so that people can understand more about the sky who take astronomy classes. The only account I have is of grandparents who bring their grandchildren now who say that there used to be a time that you had to bring your lunch on a Friday and wait outside so that you can get in line to get in. We, we've been steady 10,000 for some years now, but I would like slowly to grow that so that it's a solid 20,000. It's heyday. I think that was how busy it was in the 60s. So it's ambitious. What I want is ambitious, but if I don't reach, I won't get. The planetarium has been a staple of the community and of the university for 50 years now and I think it's a good place for people of all ages um, and all backgrounds to come and uh, engage with something that is still a bit of a mystery to everyone. It's a chance for those to li who live close by to get a sense of our universe and what's going on out there. People from all walks of life come here, I mean, families come here, students come here, uh, older retired people come here. So I mean, the planetarium means a lot to the community. I think it's very important, especially to us, because that's where our story began. It was really sweet when he did. In the middle of the show, uh, she took the time to say, oh, we have someone special here today. And um, that's when they projected on the night sky saying, you know, Stephanie, um, I love you to the end of the universe and back. Will you marry me? And I thought that was just amazing. <laughs> I guess you could say it's given me a little bit more confidence to be myself and um, because I do love astronomy and it's not something when I was growing up, it's something um, a lot of people would expect me to go into. So I'm able to be myself. We are a community of people that are just really interested in space and space exploration and it, it brings in a lot of people that are interested in the same stuff. Like we have a lot of kids that come, obviously parents bring their kids a lot, and like the kid walks up to the telescope, looks through it and can see like Saturn, and it's a really nice image. You can see the rings around Saturn and everything. And like they just, like the exclamation they make at how cool it is, is just really satisfying to see. I almost get excited for them because I get personally excited whenever I go to a planetarium show. Uh, it's like a uh, science playground, I guess. You know, because they get to go and learn about the sky and stars and to see how beautiful it is. I'm excited for them to experience that. It's an opportunity. How, how often do you get to go out and like talk about science with people? It's fun to see people come back again, see the kids' excitement at the stars that appear when the dome goes dark. And it's, most kids haven't seen that. And I think it's a great experience to be part of it. Could you imagine the doing the space unit and how would it have been different not visiting the planetarium? Like what would have what did the planetarium help you better understand? Like get specific. How did the planetarium help you? Should we start with you, Jonah? I know before I yeah, I even knew what space was, I was like, what's that black blanket up there? Or like what's that blue blanket up there? Cuz uh, uh, cuz I never knew like why is it up there? Why isn't there just nothing? So I think it's an important to learn about what's up there and what's beyond as well. Well, the planetarium is like completely different from looking at a smart board. You weren't just um, focusing what your vision on one thing. You could look at many things in one big room. And I think that really helps show a good visual. You might picture in your mind like the moon going around the earth really fast, but then you look at the in the planetarium and it's just like, it, you see hap literally what happens in space. When we went into the planetarium, it was like even more than a movie because you got to interact with it. We got to, she would let us like be part of the whole group and then find the own things and like all the constellations and I thought that was really neat. The sky or the night sky is something that's always there and it will never not be there. Um, and I think learning about it in more depth than just knowing, okay, there's shiny objects in the sky. So whenever you go to the planetarium or whenever you look up and 
you're with a friend or something, you can educate something about them because it's something in our lives every day and we should know more about it. I have to say that as a teacher, it is an incredible opportunity to bring students to be able to sit back and watch you kind of grapple with some of the concepts and ideas, but be able to do it in a setting that really supports that learning, that really gives you the opportunity to say, oh, those aha moments happened throughout our experience there. And I could see many students, the light bulb went off and they're like, I get it now, because you can see it. Like you said, you can experience it. I mean, this is kind of silly, but I love adventures and astronomers get to go on adventures, whether that's physically in space or through a telescope. Um, I've been coming to the planetarium for years since I was really young, and it, it was always uh, fun and it, to see the stars and to look at the universe, and it always inspired me to wonder and go, wanted to go into that field when I was older. We get to learn where we've come from, our origins, and we get to unravel the meaning of life in essence. We want to get out there and understand the universe that we live in, and I think that's just part of what makes humanity special is that we want to understand all this stuff, whether it matters or not necessarily. We don't really I mean, we sort of know what's beyond Earth, but at the same time, we also kind of don't know what's beyond Earth. I've learned so much from the planetarium as well, not even just from my major, but about astronomy as well. And that's, I mean, that's stuff I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. It's like our future, honestly. Like, that's stuff that's going to be around forever, and um, there's no point in not knowing as much as we can about it. All the new people, they always come in smiling and looking forward to the beautiful shows that we host here. And I think everyone can really appreciate what goes on here just for sheer, whether it's just sheer entertainment or learning about something they've never learned before. I definitely love watching people come again and again because they have the same sense of wonder that I do at the stars and everything that astronomy is. It's like a fun place to go to kind of be curious, you know. You go and you learn about just how small Earth is and how large everything else is and it's just kind of like it's almost like it's almost awe-inspiring. It demonstrates something special about people. We are interested and able to take light from a very distant star, squeeze as much information as we can from it and understand something about the star, the cosmos we live in, and about ourselves.